the health and PE consultation process, gathering student voice and teacher knowledge, you have identified fitness, physical activity, and health and PE as, as, a key, as key ways to engage your tamariki and embrace learning and wellbeing. What are the actions you've taken to prioritise this? So we, um, we had our consultation mid last year and from that we recognised that the priorities within the school were engaging the children in activities, um, building friendships and um, reinforcing our values in that way and so from there we prioritised our fitness block and made the activities these twice daily ones with a mixture of powers leaders and school-wide games, school-wide focuses in the afternoons as well as school sessions. Um, different teachers were involved in organising the different activities and um, the engagement from the children, they're all keen, they're all out the door, they know the expectation is to join in, um, be involved. They've also from there um, asked to run lunchtime sessions of games and things like that with younger children. We see some of the older children um, in the Tuakana Tana role with um, little children teaching them games every day before school at each break time. We'll see a similar group of children leading these games, um, unstructured, unorganised, but um, at, at the moment it seems to be a soccer base. I've started playing football over in Winton on Thursday nights. Um, last term it seemed to be more of a rugby phase and they're teaching some of the weird kids or new families rugby that haven't played before. Um, so there's been a great uptake with that.